Hey, pre-notification gang. Coming along great, Rip. What's the hour wage shit on kick, Rip? What are you talking about? Are you talking about the uh, thing we talked about the other night? Or did they have like a confirmed hourly wa uh, uh, hourly rate? Things are you sub Coco. Oh, yeah. That's not... I, I highly doubt that's real, though, Rip. Thanks, are you sub... Marisol, Lewis, Zombie, Fox, and the Prime Vex. Yep, AC's working again, baby. It's back online. Unfortunately, it does seem that way for now, Arrow. But I guess we'll see how things go. Thanks to Resub Forsaken and Tanker. Yeah, we went over that guy who faked his own death and everything. The McGregor video is a bad sign for his innocence. Oh shit, do they have like security camera footage or something? Video shows bathroom interaction between McGregor and alleged rape victim. Oh sh- Oh shit. Easy tier one serious question in tier one see ya. Doesn't McGregor have a wife? These are the, the Resub Lamari, Mando, Chicken, and Father, the Bits Chicken. Yeah, like 15 years. Yeah, I thought so. I remembered an interview he did talking about how she's his rock. Even if the rape accusations aren't real, the, here, I'll bring the video down. Even if the rape accusations aren't true, he still does grab this woman and take her into the bathroom. Is he resub mountain and the gift sub serious and the resub Mako? Damn. Jesus. Is the resub Puminator, Agadena, Trash, and the give sub serious question? I don't know what you mean by that, Sleepy. Here's a resub, Kevin. And the resub, Willow. Yeah, we'll talk more on the XQC deal. I made a whole video going over it, but yeah, we can have back and forth discussion about it. I mean, that's just a crazy game changing moment for streaming in general. Thanks to the resub, Bleach.
Well, the rationale between behind non-exclusive is it's actually beneficial to kick if he does stream on Twitch occasionally, right? If you do exclusive on a platform, we'll take Mixer for example, then people can only watch you there and you'll never reach your older audience from the previous platform. So if you have a non-exclusive deal, you can still engage that Twitch audience and over time ease them into the idea of going to the other platform. So it makes sense not to be exclusive, to be honest. Like, it, it does make sense. This is the resub E girl and the prime papa and cotton candy. And the resub Sarah. Moist Charlie Clips is my second channel, yeah. You seen anything on the Battle Bit remaster? Chat talked about it last night. I didn't look it up though. Thanks for your drip. Don't really have any advice off Rip Inquisitor except for consistency. The best thing you can do when starting working out is getting into a habit of making it a routine. Thanks for your yeet. And the resub Ryan. And tier one baby face. And the five gift subs chicken. Are you avoiding talking about Assassin's Creed? Brother, what? I just have nothing to say about it. I'm not an Assassin's Creed fan. I haven't liked that franchise in over ten years. No, I just don't have a lot to say about it. Stupendium? Unfamiliar with that channel. I can check it out at some point. I think it's disgusting. XQC's receiving a hundred million dollars to switch platform. He's already rich by pretty much reacting to other people. Eh. It's less about what his content is what his content is and more about his audience size, which is why he got it. Or I might be misunderstanding your statement. But here's the the biggest reason why they'd want XQC isn't even just the CCB, obviously that's one of the major ones. But he also is probably the most active streamer. Like, big streamer. The guy never goes below 200 hours a month streamed. Like, bare minimum, he's getting 200 hours a month. So for Kick, that's huge. Because pretty much all hours of the day, you can go on, well, used to be Twitch, and see XQC as live with like 50k viewers. If he can do that for Kick, that's a massive benefit to that platform. Because he is literally never offline, meaning you can go to Kick at any point and still see X. So it's, it's a big one. Thanks for your sub qual. Rama guy, Delhi, Washington, and Amped. Do you believe Twitch will provide response to XQC's migration from the platform, or will double down instead? Uh, I don't think they'll address it or anything. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot they can say other than good luck. Is Risa Lactose in the bits infamous? Yeah, we're going to do some Street Fighter 6 tonight. I'm going to try Marissa.
Here's the prime ostrich. And the bits mangloes. Do you think Starfield launch? With an apology letter included? Oh yeah, I think it's going to have a terrible buggy launch. That's Bethesda in a nutshell. But we'll see. Hopefully it's not like game-breakingly bad. Thanks for your some spice delicious and meat flap. And there used to be ethereal. Maybe now Twitch will get its shit together. I don't think there's going to be any huge big changes from Twitch. It's clear they can't afford to pay streamers. They're not monetizing the platform as well as they'd like to be. And meanwhile, all of the other platforms are paying streamers. And it's not even exclusive. So they can still stream on Twitch and then go elsewhere. Like Miz streams on Rumble now off of a contract. Kick is now doing the same thing. YouTube hasn't started doing that yet, but I think they will. They pay for exclusivity, but they've still paid a lot of big streamers to go to, to, to YouTube. So I don't think there's going to be any big changes from Twitch on that front. And most of the big streamers are probably only going to go to platforms that offer them contracts, would be my guess. I really think this is like a pivotal, game-changing moment for the streaming ecosystem in general, with the $100 million XQC signing. Thanks to Prime Lube. Have you watched Varobi's video on Venusian? No, I'm, I don't know what any of that means, to be honest. Is kick just like Twitch, but better? Better for streamers, not better for viewers. The like kick as a platform is so primitive right now. There's a lot of tools that straight up don't work. I tried to watch XQC's stream on kick earlier on mobile. It didn't load. I couldn't watch it. But for streamers, it's better. But right now, it is not the optimal viewer experience. Oh yeah, and the kick chat is terrible. Kick, kick, kick chat has the same problem YouTube chat has, where it's just a non-stop cycling of chat, as opposed to what Twitch does, where it kind of drip feeds you the chats, so you can actually read it in a big stream. On a big stream on kick or YouTube, you can't read the chat. So, that needs to get fixed. But yeah, overall, it's making big waves and a really good time for Kick. So once they fix... I mean, it's also only been live for, what, seven months, if that. Once it starts smoothing out the experience, it's got a legitimate chance. Thanks to Resub Shaft, AJ, and Puff. I didn't know that arrow. I don't have a fire stick. Thanks to Resub Kalari. I have not tried out Steam Deck or the Ally. I'm not a handheld gamer, so I don't really care about those platforms much. I want them to do well, but it's just not my cup of tea. 
Thanks, resub Mike and give sub babyface. What's stopping people from deleting their Reddit account and leaving for a different platform? I, I probably just no alternative. That's what I was talking about last night. Do you think if Kick continues to be successful, it will destroy Rumble in its entirety? No. Rumble's doing exactly what Kick's doing. Poaching Twitch streamers with non-exclusive big money contracts. They'll both coincide. They'll run adjacent. Eating away at Twitch until Twitch gets brought down. And then the playing field will be Twitch, YouTube, Kick and Rumble most likely. That's my guess. Or Amazon steps in and says, fuck off. Not happening. Amazon is very clearly hands-off with Twitch, which is why it's in the position that it's in today. They don't want to open their their purse for Twitch to tap into to keep the top streamers. You see the band Crazy Town fight? No. Was that today? Have I been offered anything similar to XQC? Brother, what the fuck? No. <laughs> A hundred million dollars? Not no. I haven't been offered anything. And it if I was, I can promise you it wouldn't be anywhere near that number. Do you think that the Rumble association with Far Right gives it a bad look and unappealing for regular streamers to naturally integrate? Yeah, I think Rumble's in a much worse spot than Kick. Kick right now's biggest problem is like people like Aiden Ross going on unhinged rants, and it gives the platform a bad name. Which is something I think X talked about with Train earlier, and Train said the same shit. Rumble, like the top ten is legitimately like some crazy shit. Like you, you see a lot of crazy shit come out of like <laughs> the Rumble atmosphere, so... It's a little harder of a sell on Rumble than it is Kick. Thanks, like Resub Danny. Thanks, like Resub Beyond. The Bits Dogs. Hey, Umbrella. Yeah, it is fixed. Why do more streamers not just stream everywhere? Exclusivity. Twitch for a long time had an exclusivity clause, which is why you didn't see many of uh, simulcasting streams or streamers streaming in multiple places. Easy resub. Daymare. <clears throat> the bits neon and arrow. I would never wrestle an alligator. It wouldn't happen. I know I don't think I ever finished Control, but it was a cool game. Do you think Adept is going to get a piece of the XQC pie? No shot. Absolutely no shot. That whole situation is so fucking sad. It's unreal. 
I wouldn't be surprised, though, if she did make some kind of statement about it. Like how she helped facilitate the deal or something. I don't know. It's crazy. The things that she's been saying and doing are outrageous. Is he resub dashing? What happened? I wouldn't even know where to begin with that whole situation, man. It's it's absolutely unhinged. Do you have a video on it? No, I think he goes to court next month and I was going to see how all of that plays out before even considering doing a video about it because I'd like an all-encompassing <laughs> all encompassing piece of content around it as opposed to a developing one. But yeah, that is a, that is brutal. Things are resub seismic in the prime Loki and the bits noisy. Congrats on hitting ninety nine cooking. Can you give us the spark notes on it real quick? In a nutshell, XQC and his ex had a big falling out. The relationship wasn't great. They broke up. Uh, his ex then tried to make some crazy arguments about how she's entitled to a very large sum of his overall wealth, basically. Even going as far as to like take some of his possessions, move into a previous home of his take pictures of him while he's sleeping with her hand on him in order to try and, like, muddy the waters of their relationship and shit. It's, it's crazy stuff. It's crazy stuff. Not a lot of big people talk about this situation. I saw a few people say that on Twitter, but I've seen Asmin talk about it. I've seen uh, Hassan talk about it. Like, I've seen quite a few people go over it. I don't know why people say that. I forgot to mention she was married, or he was married to her for about three years, which I don't think is actually true, right? Wasn't the argument common law marriage? Not like an official elopement? I don't know, there's been so much information on it, I could have the story backwards on that, but I'm pretty sure it was a common law marriage argument, not like an official elopement. What's a common law marriage? Meaning that they were never married, but they lived together for long enough or were together long enough that the state recognized it as a common law marriage. As in, like, they were together enough that they're basically married. Is my understanding of how it works. Thanks, thanks to the resub. Siska. Things the resub are the bits infamous. Yeah, I thought so. Isn't co isn't common law marriage at least five? I, brother, I'm not a lawyer. I I don't know what the parameters are. I think the whole idea of the common law marriage thing is very silly though. Things the five gift subs condo.
And there's the resub Zevro. Things in the resub chronics. Is there just wait what? Is there resub Mr. Krabs? What does that say? Hmm. What's up with all the companies trying to fuck themselves over? I don't know, man. It's an epidemic though. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Thanks, you resub donut. Higher interest rates forcing them to be more profitable so they aren't willing to be loss leaders anymore. Is that like the actual answer? I mean, that almost makes sense, I guess. Uh, give some nut. Thanks, the resub true king. I've been watching Eric Andre. No, I saw it came back though. I just haven't watched it yet. I wasn't a huge fan of the Eric Andre show. There was moments I liked, but overall I wouldn't say I was like the biggest fan. But I'll still give the new stuff a new stuff a whirl. These are five gift subs, Mister. Links to the bits animator. That's sweet. You can just send it on Twitter, probably. Animator. You usually see it. XQC used the money crystal. Yeah, true. He used the, the gambler stone. The magic crystals must actually work. This all started because Twitch banned gambling. Man, what? No, it started way before that. The, the, the ban on gambling had nothing to do with anything. Twitch has been making bad choices for the platform for quite a while. It had nothing to do with that. There's a bit's throwaway. And Jack. I've seen neither of those shows, Jack. You know what I am watching, though? The Idol. And it fucking sucks. Can't wait for the next episode. I'm glad... Have you guys seen the clips I was talking about on Twitter, by chance? In the video I made about it, I was talking about The weekend giving, like, marching orders to a, a woman for sex or whatever. I hope you guys got a chance to see him. That show is such an abominable train wreck. Yeah, the clips went viral on Twitter. One of them has like 40 million views.
Fucking stretch that tiny little pussy. I know. And that's only some of it. Like I said, that scene goes on for like five or six minutes. Oh, it's so fucking bad. Here, I bet I can pull it up. I don't think it'll be a problem here. No, actually, no, 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 no. There's definitely tits in it. No shot. No shot. I'm actually not even going to risk it. You being serious? Yeah. The weekend is basically hypnotizing the lead of the show. And he, like, blindfolds her. And then instead of having sex, he then hides behind a chair. Tells her to get on the bed. And then he starts, like, basically phone sexing her. He's like, yeah, so imagine my cock in your throat. Yep. You're choking on it now. Mm-hmm. Now you're bouncing your boobies. Oh, yeah, those boobies are bouncing now. Slap your ass. Yep. Now slap your ass again. Yep. Now stretch that... Or now fucking stretch that tiny little pussy. Verbatim what he says with the fucking stretch that tiny little pussy. And he's doing it from behind a chair. It's so good. Just do the audio. Oh, good call. Yeah, I'll just do the audio for you. You've got to hear this shit. <laughs> it's something else. Where's the clip at? God, just give me the Twitter results. I hate typing in something from Twitter on Google. It never gives me the Twitter results. Thanks to the resub, Mario. What the fuck? That's you. No, not that. Where is it? The tweet said, I'll never be able to look at the weekend the same way again. Why is it not coming up for me? Oh, here it is, here it is. Here. Ugh, you can't hear it at all. What the fuck? Is there a better version of it? All of these are filmed with people's phones. So the audio is terrible. Is the resub citrus? I guess a little bit am uh, animator. We could hear it. Oh, you could hear it? Okay, good. But yeah, he's saying that from behind a chair. Is it resub Jake? It's so goofy. Poor guy just lost so many fans. I don't think he lost any fans. I I, I don't think he's, he's going to, like, suffer from this bad acting. It's just super embarrassing cringe. And now he's getting made fun of. Kind of like Drake. Like, Drake has an entire online reputation of, like, Drake seems like the type of dude to say, Oh, I needed that after one of his friends makes a joke. Right? Like, that kind of shit. Or Drake's the kind of guy who will go for a high five and then lock fingers, that kind of shit. But Drake is still extremely popular. It's just he has a cringe reputation for that kind of shit. So I don't think it's going to really affect the weekend that much.
Drake was in Degrassi. Yeah, I, I, I do remember that or hearing that. I never watched the show. Is it resub honorable and Ember? You see the TikTok star who pistol whipped some random dude and tried to get out of it by bragging about his following to the police? Yep. I watched that today. I made something on it. I'll post it tomorrow. That has to be the most insufferable influencer I've ever seen. I see why it. I saw. He's the prime Gomez. Imagine if the next big streamer contract is EDP. That would be quite a plot twist. Kick did say that they signed six huge streamers. I am curious on the other ones. I wonder who else it would be. I can't see Shroud leaving again. I could see Wubby doing it. <clears throat> Who are some of the other, like, really big boys? Moon Moon's not going anywhere. Miz already went to Rumble. Who else? Who else could it be? It could be Asmin. Maybe Asmin. Kai already did Rumble. Jideon already did Rumble. Won't be Jerma. Oh, this isn't like a lead-on thing. No, legitimately, like when my Twitch contract ends, I've already told you guys I plan on going to a lot of different places to try different content out on different platforms like YouTube and shit. This isn't like a bait-and-switch. Things are some Manglo in the bit squessy. Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect is not signed to YouTube. He still does average like a 20k CCV. He might legitimately be a kick uh, a kick signing. I could see that. I could see a world there. Ludwig. Oh. At least four more huge signings can confirm. All right. Uh, I'm very curious to see who it is. Uh, I'll, I'll lock in my four. I think Asmin, Wubby, Dr. Disrespect. It won't be Soda. Soda's never leaving Twitch. Shroud's not leaving Twitch. Uh, shit. I don't know who I should go for my last wild card. You think you're Rage? I don't know, I don't think your rage would go to kick without Kai. And I feel like they're kind of locked in for Twitch. Summit. Ooh, you know what, I'll lock in Summit for the fourth wild card. Smart. That'd be my four guesses. Baby Gronk. Yeah, imagine the next four signings are just, like, actual nonsense. We signed Baby Gronk, Glup Shitto, and this one guy who had a role in a TV show 40 years ago. Thanks to the give sub baby face. You're going to play Warhammer Bolt Gun? Eventually. Tonight I'm doing Street Fighter, though. I want to try Marissa. See how that goes. Oh, we're getting the inside scoop. So a female streamer, couple FPS and variety streamers, and a personality variety. Oh, so then I wasn't even close then. 
Except for maybe the last one there for personality variety. That could be Asmin. I guess the male FPS could also be Dr. Disrespect. Pokimane wouldn't go. Didn't she already say she wouldn't be going to kick or anything like that? It'd probably be Amaranth or Alinity, maybe. I'm not sure. It is a crazy time for streaming, though. That is for sure. The FPS is probably Nick, Doc, and Tim. Brother, what the fuck? T Tim literally has a YouTube contract. <laughs> I think I do think Doc is probably on the table, though. Doc is very unhappy with YouTube because they don't give him a contract. He can't come back to Twitch, I guess, so it could be Doc. Would Hassan ever switch? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I have no idea, really. It's not like I think Hassan is thrilled about Twitch as a platform. I mean, it's Amazon-backed. So, I mean, he's very outspoken against Amazon, right? So I don't, I don't think that he's super married to Twitch itself. It's probably just the most convenient platform. So if he did move, it'd probably be YouTube, though. Thanks to Resub Marcy. Can you imagine the plot twist, though, if Hassan went to fucking rumble? <laughs> Listen, boys. You can, you can find the next one on rumble. Thanks to give some animator. Have giant pepperoni nipples. If you've never seen my nipples, I have very tiny little ones. You gonna see the Black Clover movie? No. I don't plan on it. Would you miss Twitch if you completely stop one day? Well, yeah, obviously. I think everyone does when they switch to a different platform. But since the contracts aren't exclusive, you can always still just stream on Twitch anyway. Twitch is like the only platform left that still does the exclusivity for some creators. Well, and YouTube, I guess. I mean, anyone talking about the demise of Twitch as being a touch premature? Yeah, it's not dead yet. It's just these are very pivotal moments in streaming. It's not often you see a powerhouse that had a complete stranglehold on the market lose so much ground so quickly. So it is just a big deal, and it is a, a lot of holes in the ship. Resub Hess. Did you 
you see the Reddit CEO is inspired by Elon's business ideas? No. That sounds like hoopla. It just seems like Reddit is very desperately trying to get rid of the third-party apps. I don't think it's anything about that. Mm. No, he did say that. Oh, interesting. Anyone know why YouTube won't give Doc a contract? <laughs> yeah, man. Because they don't need to. Well, at least they didn't need to. He couldn't stay on Twitch. All he had was YouTube. So why would they pay him when he's already going to be there? So they, they could get away with it. But now they might need to because he might consider kick. Right? Like, it's a possibility. Was he tier one mustard? He's a prime Kermit. Doc, viewer numbers isn't good these days. Man, everyone's perception of like big numbers on the internet is so distorted. Last I checked, he still was holding like a 20k average CCV. I mean, I'll double check, but like 20k is fucking big. I'm not a 20k Andy. Brother, I'm like a 10k Andy basically. Like that that's his success is huge even still. Let's look it up. What measures YouTube CCV? Is it stream charts? Does this also do YouTube? Here's a whole article written about how his streams have been only growing on YouTube. This is a bit sire. Don't a lot of streamers get the bulk of their money from Twitch Prime subs? No. Sponsors. But Twitch Prime is very helpful for pretty much every channel. It's like the only big leg up Twitch currently has is the, the Primes. Thanks to Prime Underwater and Tier 1 Thunder and the Resub Joey. You see the XQC kick chat full of angry faces right now? <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't watch it on mobile. The I, I don't know if kick just doesn't work on mobile yet, but when I went to desktop to watch a little bit, it was just a fucking flood of angry faces. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was a meme or not, but yeah. I think it was Jesse pointed it out. John ja Morant spent, suspended 24 games. They finally brought in the verdict, so it's a 24-game suspension, huh? Only one guy said that, though, so don't know if it's confirmed yet or not. 25 games. Okay, I'm glad I waited for confirmation it was an extra game. Do you think Twitch will ban XQC? Nope. I do not. They would be doing themselves a big disservice if they banned XQC, because he still will be streaming on there, mainly to filter to kick, I imagine. 
but even still, him voice crack him on Twitch for any length of time is still better for them than not at all. Crazy how often this happens. Company dominates a market, gets complacent, starts bleeding to competition. Yeah. Blockbuster, Yahoo, Sears, and MySpace. All of those except for uh, all of those except for Yahoo. Yahoo is still a top ten visited website. I actually just made a Twitter post about that because I'm always shocked to see it so high on the list. Yahoo is still one of the most visited websites on the planet. It's in the top ten. But the other ones, yeah. Thanks, you resub gray. Thanks, you resub death storm. In Yibi. And you guys see the AI generated SpongeBob thing? Everyone did. That was huge. Thanks, the resub legend. Probably not nimble. Well, definitely not for the last one. But I'd, I'd just like to try the other platforms first. But I wouldn't be like super opposed to it. It just depends on how the other platforms feel. These kids are going to get exposed to gambling one way or another, either by trading card games or kick. What? How did trading card games find a way into this? Is there some Karomi in the bits Zernade? The One Ring. I got some bad news for you if you think it's kids going for the One Ring. I imagine there's like maybe 20 like actual children that play Magic the Gathering the rest is people my age and older things that give some assault in the resub wave one ring isn't even gambling it is. It is, like, legitimately gambling. It's playing the lottery. If you're going for the one ring, you're playing the lottery. And I'll be honest with you, the boys and I talked about it today. We kind of want to play the fucking lottery for the one ring. So we'll see. I might dust it off just to crack a few. Just to see. Just to see. Little heat check. Thanks to the bits arrow. Kick went down from all the traffic. God damn. And the resub suck. You can use the charged gambler crystal. Oh, you bet your ass we're going to be busting out the gambler stone. Absolutely, for sure. There's no reason not to use the Gambler Stone. Things that resub support. And basically. Would you sell the card or keep it if you got it? The One Ring? 
Fuck, I don't know. Probably keep it. Think about the esports that card could fund. Yeah, but also, you, God, you guys are so short-sighted. Right now, there's a $2 million bounty on that card. If we were somehow the ones that pulled it, if we squatted on that and said two mil's not enough, there would absolutely be an even richer, crazier person that, like, doubles it. The gluttony would be, in, like, insatiable for them. So we just keep holding it and holding it until Wizards inevitably does another one of one, because then it's going to immediately devalue the one ring. Especially if you threaten to destroy it. Yeah, exactly. Ransom. I don't think the first would tank, that makes no sense. If they do another one of one card, it absolutely devalues the one ring. The reason why it's so special right now is A, they've never done it, it's a literal one of one, and B, it's part of one of the most beloved franchises of all time. Probably one of the most influential franchises of all time. But the second they do another one of one, I feel like that immediately takes away some of the prestige from being the only, the only of its kind. Is the resub fox for us? Is the resub fingers? Why is magic influential? What? No, I'm talking about Lord of the Rings, not magic. I mean, magic is influential, but I'm talking about Lord of the Rings. It's that is probably the most influential franchise ever. That completely defined the high fantasy or the fantasy genre. Thanks to the resub trash bin. What? Star Wars is definitely more influential? Brother, what? You realize... I'm not talking about, like, Lord of the Rings movies. I'm talking about, like, the entire Silmarillion, like, all of that. That literally made fantasy. Star Wars is a continuation of, like, already established sci-fi. Like, Star Trek, I think you could make a better argument for being more influential, because Star Trek really jump-started that whole genre of sci-fi. Thanks for your sub stargazer. Dune jump started Star Trek and Star Wars. Was Dune first? I thought Star Trek predates it. I, I'm not a keep in mind, I'm not a big Dune guy. So I thought it was Star Trek first. Is you some Taekwondo? I'm sorry to hear that Taekwondo. That sounds like Burger King, though. Is it tier one Toker and the resub Stargazer?
When was the last time you heard of Star Trek news? Hey, man, that's not what matters. I'm talking about, like, literally genre-defining property. Yeah, Star Trek really kind of fell out of favor in a pretty big way recently, but that's, that's not what we're talking about. Things are you said Tortorini and Obama. Street Fighter 6 later tonight. I'm trying Marissa. And thanks to the Beats Taekwondo. I highly doubt it's Beats Taekwondo. That's going to be like some red dye kind of shit. What is it? Red 35 or something? No way. They're using Beats for the Spider-Man Whopper Bun at Burger King. Do you think Kai Sinat will ever move somewhere else? No. Kai Sinat is Twitch's last big bastion of hope for a huge streamer. He's only ever growing, it seems. They'll probably do anything to lock him down on Twitch. Especially because they already lost ground with him because he has his show uh, with speed on Rumble. So I don't think I don't think they'll let him. They'll probably make a crazy offer. That'll be where they put like the last of their budget. No way Twitch would give him a hundred million though. No, they definitely wouldn't. They couldn't afford to. Well, they could. They have Amazon backing, but Amazon doesn't chip in, I guess. Thanks for some Aaron George in the Prime Dooku. These are the bits remains. I was into a lot of different genres, of course, remains. Mm. Kick having no ads is nice. Enjoy it while it lasts. It will be having ads eventually. But I don't think it'll be ads like on Twitch. I don't think they're going to do pre roll ads. I don't even think they'll. I, I would also wager your guess they probably won't even do in stream ads. They'll probably start with like very easy ones to ease you into it. So things like uh, display ads, which is like bottom bar. Or, um, what's the side one called? Not banner ads. Can't remember the other one. One for the side. They'd probably start with, like, display, or, um, display banner or whatever, and then the one on the side. That's what I'm saying, Jay, exactly. Thanks a bit, Arrow. Thanks to the tier one FT. Yeah, I heard Kick's struggling right now with all this traffic. I, I'd be very curious. You know, I'm going to go on right now. I wonder how many... Oh, wow, you can't even access it. Oh, it's like fully... It's like down, down. I'd be very curious what the total viewer number is right now. Oh, there we go. Now I'm on. Now it's down again. But this is definitely their biggest day ever.
He's a resub onion. Oh yeah, we talked about that. If anyone actually, if any of you in stream, I said this yesterday, and I'm gonna say it again. If any, if any one of you in stream pays fifteen dollars for the Overwatch Two story mission, I will be personally disappointed with you on a parasocial level. That would be such a reckless disregard for your money. They are feeding you scrapped content for fifteen dollars. Don't take that. Is a resub hunter? Yeah, I was wondering total viewers though, infamous. That already is a lot though, Jesus. Thanks, you resub wallaby. No, don't do it, nimble. Don't buy it. They literally took out all of the elements of what Overwatch 2 was supposed to be. Don't don't take their sloppy seconds for $15. If it was free, or even $5. Like I'd understand. But $15? That's ridiculous. Fucking like Hollow Knight is less than that. Like, like, there's so much more you could get for God damn it, I'm not a Twitter blue guy. I'm a researcher. <laughs> and, and what a sacrifice I've made. I have not been able to live that one down. Thanks for the bits, Taekwondo. Uh, quick uh, halftime report on that. Twitter blue is still fucking useless. That's your update there. Things the bits Trogdor. Is it worth it though? One day it will because they're gonna hype up some huge Twitter blue thing, and then I'll be able to be there and tell you firsthand that it actually is dog shit and not to waste your money on it. So that way you don't fall into the hype. I'm sacrificing it for you, goddammit. I'm an anime hero, and you're welcome. <laughs> 